The Human Experience, Inside the Humanities at Stanford University, humanexperience.stanford.edu. I moved to this country about 30 years ago, and you know, I became an American citizen eventually. Um, immigration is a big experience in my life, and I project that in my work. Uh, this country particularly strikes me as a country that has been founded on immigration, but uh, you know, the titles I put in my work, which uh, tend to be uh, uh, humorous, like Illegal Aliens Guide to Greater America, or the, which is you know, a big painting, or one of my prints that um, is entitled Illegal Aliens Guide to Critical Theory. Uh, for instance, just to give you a couple of examples, um, deal with the issues of legality or illegality of immigration. Uh, I question the history of this country as you know, being founded, not just for, you know, from immigrants from Europe, but also illegal alien, aliens, as they call them in the media, uh, from Europe. Uh, the first uh, you know, uh, uh, illegal aliens to the Americas were the Spaniards and the pilgrims, uh, which you know, didn't have any passport. Um, uh, they, some of them acted against the law of the land. Some of them committed uh, crimes against humanity. Although for the big majority, people were just escaping oppression, religious oppression, or, or they were economic refugees from Europe. And in that sense, it's not too different than the illegal immigration of today. People come to this country sometimes uh, as economic refugees, and uh, are often invited, and legally, like myself. But still, you know, the, the issue of uh, legality is something that I, like to question in my work. For me, immigration is not, is not a passport, it's not a piece of paper. It's uh, an internal change. People change based on where they live, based on the culture they are surrounded. And it might take many years for somebody who comes from a different place to another place uh, to land. Uh, even though you might have your passport, you might have you know, residency, uh, you still might take a while to adjust. So there's a point where you feel that you don't belong anywhere and you feel that you belong everywhere. So in my work, I try to address those issues. Um, and again, I rather laugh than cry, you know, given the difficult circumstances of the experience. And lately I've been mixing it with political issues from around the world, with, you know, global, um, a political topic. So, uh, suddenly immigration for me is not just moving between the U.S. or Mexico, uh, but uh, just m moving all across the world, from Africa to Europe, in South America, like from smaller countries to bigger countries, from Uruguay to Argentina, or in Central America, like from places like uh, Nicaragua to Costa Rica, and so on. So, it's about uh, the human experience. Um, more than my personal experience. My, my work doesn't have a specific narrative per se, so my interpretation is not the only one. Uh, people might recognize symbols that are familiar to them, like maybe cartoon characters, religious imagery that is close to their culture, but they might not recognize other uh, elements from different cultures. Those are gonna be read in very different ways uh, uh, by by everybody else. So um, the only thing I hope is that people will uh, have or, or, or will take the sense of humor that is behind the work. Something I tell to myself, and that's something I tell to my students, is why do we make art? I mean, we don't make art to be stressed. We don't make art to you know, have a difficult life. Art is the only thing you do because you cannot stop doing it. And I say that to my students. You, when you make art, make sure you make art because that's the reason you make art. Not because you want to be famous, not because you, you know, want to make money out of it, 
not for any reason. Uh, things will come to you. Things, you, you will make a living as an artist because you are smart, you are creative, you'll find a way. But the reason you should make art is because really you cannot stop doing it. It's the only thing you cannot stop doing. You could stop doing anything else but art. So that's when you know you have, you have the infection. You are an artist. 